Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com and welcome to another Android development tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over um, some of the features of Android Studio where some of the files that you're going to be interacting with will um, be located and just to get familiar with the environment. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to load up Android Studio. Okay, and the first thing you'll see is the Android Studio dialog for a new project. We're just going to click New Project. And for this tutorial, we're not going to specify any application name or change any of the settings here. We're just going to hit Next, 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 and then Finish. We'll go over how to set up a new project next time. We just need to start a project so we can have some sort of interaction with the environment. We're just going to let everything build right now. Okay, now that all the comp compilations has completed successfully. So in the Project tab here, you can see we have External Libraries and My Application Project. The My Application Project folder is the overall folder for your project. Your actual application that you're going to be building is in My Application. So you can see you have your My Application Project, which is your project folder that contain, contains all of your uh, Android Studio environment directories and build files and all your um, properties for your project. So then inside your application folder, this is where all the good stuff for your actual app will reside. Inside of your source directory is where all of your Android code will go, all your layouts and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the source folder. Inside of main, we have two folders here. We have Java and Res. And we also have an Android manifest file. And we'll just take a quick look at the, in the, man, in the and Android manifest file. So this is pretty much telling the Android operating system what your application needs to run. So as you can see here, it uses SDK. The minimum SDK version that your application can run on is version 7, and the target SDK version is 18. And then, um, then in your application tab, you have your icon here, a label which we'll get to later, a theme, application name under your activity node. This um, lets Android know what application, or I'm sorry, what activity is supposed to load initially when your app is run. So in this case, it has your package name of com.example.myapplication, which we'll go over further in the next tutorial, and main activity, which is the file that we created here. Okay, and so back over in our Java folder, Java folder will be all where your code resides. So you have your package and you have main activity. So this will be where all your core Android programming will be. But all of your layouts will be inside this res folder. Inside the res folder you have some drawable folders. Um, pretty much what the drawable folders are, are like where your images are stored. You have for um, different density levels of your screen. So like MD MDPI is for like a lower resolution screen and XXHDP is like tablet or high resolution um, phones. So those are there. So you can specify which icons or images you're going to use with certain devices. And then you have your layout menu. And these will be where all of your like UI or your um, row for a list view style, stuff like that. Just stuff has to do with your layout or UI of your system will be here. So activity main, we'll just take a look at that real quick. And you can see here we have some XML code. And right now there's a relative layout and it has a text view. We'll get into more details on those in upcoming tutorials. But as you can see, a loading window over here has shown up and it will preview what your app will look like on a device. So right now it just has your application name, which is my application, and hello world. And then back to over here in your file structure, under menu, you're going to have all your layouts that are um, for your menu. So under main.xml, just as a menu item with an item inside your value folder, it will have more um, items here for like dimensions. You can set up resources about that specify dimensions that you can access in your layout files. You have strings which you can declare a new string and you can use it throughout your code so you can only so you can just put one set of text or some sort of information in one spot and it will be relevant in every part that you access it in your application 
and then styles. We'll go through, you can set up your um, style for your application itself. So right now it's using the theme light. And then in the rest of your value folders here, it's based on your SDK version that you're installing to. So right here it just says V11, that's version 11 and version 14. So you can specify different device versions and modify your code that way. So that's sort of a basic folder structure for your actual application. Just remember, inside of your project, you have your actual application folder, and then inside your actual application folder, they're really the only two files you're going to be dealing, or folders you're going to be dealing with are Java and Res. And once again, Java is mainly for your Android code, and Res is for like your resources or your layout folder files. That'll conclude this tutorial, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.